Morning guys, it is Tuesday, May 30th. Hope everybody had a great holiday weekend as we remember all the fallen heroes that paid the ultimate price for our freedom. Uh, that's really what Memorial Day is all about. So thank you to everyone who has served, currently is serving, and all the families that are also making that sacrifice too. Uh, we had a pretty awesome weekend. We went to a state park about an hour north of us called John Bryan State Park and did some hiking and then went to this dairy farm nearby. It was a lot of fun. And I think Darcy had some fun too. She's still waking up, dropping her off at daycare. Uh, yep, <clears throat> gonna do a two-day vlog. Gonna probably combine it into into one video. Do some warehouse shooting and stuff like that. There's a lot of stuff to be done. So let's get this day started. It's 3:30. I've been out running some errands, post office and bank and all kinds of other stuff. And I set a goal out for my team maybe like two or three months ago and told them that once we hit 3,500 registered bidders, we'd all like kind of have an outing. Uh, there's a place by us called Dave and Buster's. I don't know if you guys have that in your area. It's sort of like an adult Chuck E. Cheese basically. So it's like, you know, Chuck E. Cheese on steroids. So they got like arcade games and billiards and um, all kinds of stuff. But then it's kind of geared more towards adults. So they've got a nice restaurant inside and they serve beer and all that and we're at 3400 bitters right now so a hundred more and we'll hit the goal so that's pretty exciting looking forward to that hey guys it's now wednesday morning um didn't really shoot a whole lot of video yesterday i kind of suck at this whole vlogging thing uh but do a little bit more today at least i'll try to jared's not working today he had something he had to do so jolene's gonna fill in for him so it'll be cool to see her she's been working from home a lot doing advertising and stuff so she hasn't been doing a lot of stuff at the warehouse but it's good that she can kind of fill in when we need her to um i'm gonna start featuring a few items each week and um I'll show you guys some of the cool stuff that's coming in so the current auction has a ton of stuff. This is everything. Basically, everything you see here is on the current auction. It's like 450 items, roughly, I think. We've got some nice furniture pieces. This is a cedar chest that I found over the weekend. It's a really big shipper robe. It's a kind of a cool piece. We've got like a... Fender Starcaster, kind of like the Stratocaster knockoff, some old bats. I thought this one was pretty neat. This is a uh, Lima Zilli. It's signed by him, and I think it might have been like a game used. His number was 16. It says Maz on the knob. So when these guys, you know, would have their bats in the dugout, they'd be in a rack, and all you could see on the top was the knob. And that's how they would uh, distinguish, you know, which bat was theirs when they went up to bat. We have a Game Gear in this week's auction, too. It's got the original case from the booklets and chargers. It's really clean. We've been getting awesome money for video games lately. Probably the item getting the most attention this week is this Nintendo in the box. Uh, I found this at a yard sale a couple weekends ago. And it's got everything in it. Controllers. Uh, duck hunt although one of the controllers when I tested it was a little bit glitchy so I didn't include it I just had the one because it was fully working this thing is really clean though it's got all the original styrofoam the manuals zapper gun Mario game it's just a really clean system for how old it is I just don't think they gave it a lot of use I also got a bunch of cool stuff brought in yesterday, like four or five carloads of stuff. Uh, that's kind of the reason I didn't get a vlog as much as I wanted to, so I'll show you some of that stuff that came in. One guy brought in a huge stack of records. I know there's like some Kiss and Beatles in there. Another guy brought in a whole bunch of Legos. This is a really big box here, it's like a Lego City set. Got a bunch of laptops coming in, DVDs. Some household, a bunch of kind of collector glasses. Julian's here today, so that means 
back porch for lunch. Yummy! The printer I've got at the warehouse has been kind of crapping out on me lately. It's this older HP inkjet I've had for a while. Um, the ink's real expensive. It doesn't print very fast. It jams like all the time. Um, so I found one at a Micro Center on their website. It's a brother brand, and they're asking 130, but the Amazon has it for 100 with free Prime shipping. So I'm gonna drive over there and see if I can't get it, get them to price match it for me. So they did price match for me, so I got it for 100 bucks. Uh, this thing has a lot more capacity than my current one, so it can hold like 250 pages at once. Uh, it's gonna print faster. It's got the copier, everything, wireless. 32 pages per minute, which is pretty awesome. So, 100 bucks. Really excited about this thing. It's heavy as shit. <laughs> I bet it's heavy as shit. Andrew just I brought it was in just this like a, oh, sorry. casino machine. What do you think it was? I, no, I, I, I thought it was just like a tabletop one. And I got there and it was like the whole base of it, too. Was it on Leco or Off Yeah, one of those two. The ma uh, manufacturer date's 96. Dude, that is cool. And, it, and it's got all the keys for it and everything. Wow, insert bills. One to a hundred dollars for the high rollers. Ah, uh, look at that. Woohoo! Ten thousand coins. <laughs> <laughs> so does it not shoot out tokens? Uh no, because it's not it's not programmed right. It's just going through like the oh. like payouts and stuff. I don't know if it'll do it again or not. That is it for this video guys. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.